Hello friends, uh, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the journey about digital manufacturing. Digital manufacturing, smart manufacturing, intelligent manufacturing, this is the same thing, but how we will have our journey towards that is what been uh, discussed over here. So, our earlier processes in most of the companies or organization, you know, present thing is uh, we have some enterprise applications, but they are not really capturing the real time information. The difference between those systems and when you're talking about the digital transformation or digital system or digital supply chain is we have to develop a real-time information capturing capabilities and across various uh, process stages, which not only will capture the data, but will analyze the data and will prompt you for a better decision making. And that will increase the business value. And that is why it is called uh, smart manufacturing or digital manufacturing. So <clears throat> this is what is, is, is a concept when we are really looking, thinking about it. So what I've done over here is uh, these various uh, steps, I made it into about uh, five different stages. You know? what, what are these things, steps to be taken up and how that will help in a data capture and data analysis. So the first step is of course, it's uh, connecting the data. As we know, the business process, there are many processes that there are. If you take a manufacturing process also, there are stage one, two, three, four, five, like that it goes in that on that. So every business process, you know, there is a different data, which is really getting captured, which we are viewing it, which presently if you look at it, um, uh, shop floor, people are writing down onto the piece of paper or a log sheets and Maybe in some cases it's getting entered into some computer solutions and which is enterprise application or supply chain application. But that is it's, it's only a connecting of the information. The next step is to be which seen is the visibility of that data. Now, visibility comparison with the earlier stage, next stage, or maybe earlier batch record for that particular product or something, or maybe monitoring that data into a product quantity or manufacturing that data with a various uh, process parameters about maybe temperature, pressure, process sound, time or you know, something like that. Right? So this is what is it's, uh, getting looked at it. So once you connect the data, then you see the visibility and all that. Once that visibility is there, then you do a efficiency analysis. You, know? you see, you may have a standard parameters, process parameters. You may have a standard process cycle time and all that. Then you do a comparison with that. And then you come out with analysis. Okay, at what capacity I'm working or what efficiency I'm working is it a process time, cycle time, I'm following it, or is it less or is it more? If it is less or more, what are the problems or why the factors are there? So you start looking and doing that analysis. And once you do that analysis, you use that analysis for improving the process. You take that and you do the, if it is maybe equipment, then you do a equipment effect analysis or something like that and then uh, take a necessary corrective action. Then comes the advanced analysis. Like since we are all uh, talking about the various new emerging technologies, the most important technology over here is artificial intelligence, machine learning, predictive analysis, prescriptive analysis and all that. So think analyzing all the data and decide or build up an algorithm into that so that even the process can take a necessary corrective action and all that. 
that is where we are moving to a digital manufacturing or smart manufacturing or intelligent manufacturing. So the last time what I mentioned it over here is using that real-time data with a prescriptive analysis can lead to business excellence. And business, where is the business excellence? Business excellence comes from the supplier, from the quality, from manufacturing process, from the equipment and all that actually. And that optimizes your inventory, optimizes plant performance and all that. So this is how that whole uh, process is uh, executed and carried forward and all that actually. So this uh, concept you have to know that how digital manufacturing or smart manufacturing is really going to play an important role in achieving the business excellence and all that. Hope, uh, in short, I gave you a brief idea about uh, digital manufacturing journey. And uh, in case if you need more information, uh, feel free to contact us. We are there to help you, guide you, and uh, resolve your problems. Feel free to share your thoughts, your contacts, and your network also. We look forward for uh, more interactive sessions with you maybe in the near future. Thank you. Bye.